I'm here in the cemetery of Bet Medrash Hagadol in the Covedale section in Cincinnati, Ohio. The Sunday the 15th of the Hebrew month, Tammuz, year 5784, the English date July 21st, 2024. Today happens to be the yard site, the anniversary day of passing of the great rabbi, Rabbi Chaim Ben Adar, Chaim Ben Atar, the Ora Chaim HaKadosh, the Holy Ora Chaim. I'm standing in front of two large monuments. The first one, Rabbi Dov Ber Manischewitz. Manischewitz Matzos. Manischewitz Wines. Here it is, the founder. Right here, buried in Cincinnati, where it all started next to his wonderful wife, Chaya Nesher Manashevitz. Rabbi Dov Ber Manashevitz was born in 1856 in Salant. He was a student of the famous Musernik, the ethicist, Rabbi Israel of Salant, Rabbi Israel Salanter on Hebrew, Rabbi Yisrael Salanter. He learned with him in Memel, Lithuania. Definitely a very good Litvak. And he came here to this country in eight, November 1885 on a steamship. Now, we're going to be going later to the uh, steamship area. It was, on, it was a stop, the first stop when you crossed, when you came over, even before other cities, was Cincinnati. And that's why Cincinnati in the late 1800s was a major hub for Jews, Orthodox Jews, also Reform Jews that were, belonged to the, started to go to the Reform Temple. But a lot of Jews came to Cincinnati, and it was a real popular place because it was on the route of the steamship. Anyway, he founded the Manischewitz Company in 1888 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He founded it first in a basement, he had bakers and they made kosher matzos, special for the Passover holiday. And from that it became the world famous Manischewitz Company. He was married to the daughter of Reb Meir Rosen of Memel. Her name was Chaya Nesha, was buried right here. You imagine 1888, 1988, it's 2024, 100, almost 150 years, 150 years that this company is in existence because of this individual right here. What does that show you, my friends? It shows you that you begin with humble beginnings and you stick to your guns as a Jew to the Torah. You don't deviate. And then my friend Bennett here and myself are here on a Sunday morning, overcast Cincinnati, celebrating the special persons, special people, husband and wife. That's it, friends. Take a look at it now. May God help that their souls be blessed and they are ready bring good things to their family, their great-grandchildren, and maybe even great-great-grandchildren to continue in the way of the founders, Orthodox Jews, Jews who kept to the Torah, not deviating, being strong, because that's the only thing that's going to keep us going, keeping that Torah. God bless you all.